Michael McDonald from Tennessee State University, and the topic is the immigration policy of the United States at the 21st century. And of course, Dr. McDonald, I think we've said quite a bit about the historical foundation uh, for our immigration policy, but let's look at uh, some of the uh, current uh, problems and some of the current challenges, rather, that we're having uh, dealing with uh, our immigration policy, and let's talk about it from a current point of view. Sure. Um, well, in terms of contemporary issues, uh, on the average, there are over 500 million people who cross the uh, U.S. borders every year, and of that number, mm -hmm. about 330 million are, in fact, um, illegal aliens. These mm -hmm. are individuals who are undocumented, mm -hmm. and so it's been it's been a um, uh, a challenge for the federal government that really has primary responsibility over mm -hmm. immigration laws to to work with the states mm -hmm. and those states and cities that are what you consider to be border mm -hmm. states Impacted and border, by, right mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. by um, um, immigration mm -hmm. and 9/11 really has made a major impact upon federal immigration policies mm -hmm. uh, I mean the the information that we know about the terrorists that were involved mm -hmm. in the hijackings clearly indicates that, of course, mm -hmm. they came here through fraudulent, fraudulent mm -hmm. documentation mm -hmm. that was provided, uh, that they provided to the Immigration and Naturalization Service. And mm -hmm. so uh, what we now see in terms of immigration policy mm -hmm. is one that relates to intelligence, mm -hmm. it relates to law enforcement, mm -hmm. it relates to national security. Mm -hmm. And as a result, um, when the federal government created the Office of Homeland Security mm -hmm. and made it a cabinet, presidential cabinet level yes. position, mm -hmm. they put the Immigration and Naturalization Office under uh, okay. the uh, mm -hmm. Department of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. So that clearly changes the focus from being one of just mm. bureaucracy processing paperwork mm -hmm. to one that now relates to monitoring mm -hmm. who comes in the country, uh, mm -hmm. monitors what they're doing while they're here in okay. the country, mm -hmm. and monitors uh, the situation if someone should be asked to leave or, mm -hmm. or be directed to leave. Mm -hmm. uh, so 9-11 has made a mm -hmm. major impact on, on immigration policies. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the, the uh, Patriot Act, Good. which mm -hmm. deals with protecting uh, U.S. citizens against uh, terrorism. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest components relates to um, protecting the borders, mm -hmm. relates to requiring individuals who come to the United mm -hmm. States seeking any type of, mm -hmm. of economic or educational opportunities mm -hmm. provide much more documentation mm -hmm. than was provided prior to 9-11. Mm -hmm. um, the training that the uh, mm -hmm. um, INS uh, and border agents go through mm -hmm. much more advanced, much Very, more okay. thorough because mm -hmm. it's no longer just a situation where again mm -hmm. you're presenting a passport or presenting your driver's license. Mm -hmm. In some cases, what they're looking at now is really is what you might call bio, biomedical mm -hmm. uh, identification, where maybe mm -hmm. they can take your fingerprint, or maybe they can uh, uh, actually um, do a trace or, or a picture mm -hmm. of your your eye, mm -hmm. which everyone has unique mm -hmm. features and in, in, in those mm -hmm. characteristics, and have those things on file, mm -hmm. so that when someone comes through and crosses the border, mm -hmm. we have documentation of that. Mm -hmm. In other words, what they're trying to do is to beef up the mm -hmm. um, ways in which we can screen. Security more. Right. Uh -huh. And, and mm -hmm. so it's gone from just, mm -hmm. INS has gone from just being, you know, this federal bureaucracy of mm -hmm. keeping up with who's here, the mm -hmm. one that now relates to who is here, mm -hmm. what are their intentions, mm -hmm. and, what, and what role or impact could these people have in terms of compromising mm -hmm. the national security mm -hmm. of the United States, either here or mm -hmm. even abroad, mm -hmm. because we know that the individuals who have come into the United States, mm -hmm. there are immigrants who have done things mm -hmm. that, have, that have caused injury and even death to U.S. citizens mm -hmm. abroad. And so in a real sense, this really changes uh, not only the uh, uh, INS, but it also changes the whole characteristic of the uh, immigration movement itself. Does yes, it, not? it does. And, and it, it sort of, uh, it, 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 it makes, uh, uh, the immigration movement, a more negative movement in a real sense of trying to, what, keep people out rather than to uh, try to create a situation of allowing them to slowly come in or whatever. Is that, would that be a fair character? I think it'd be a fair characteristic because uh, up until about 1985, the United States had an immigration policy that put caps mm -hmm. on 
certain hemispheres. Mm -hmm. In other words, they had limitations on the number of visas that would be issued to, for example, Europe or be issued to mm -hmm. uh, Africa or be issued to mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Soviet Union. And now because of 9-11, they've stripped that away mm -hmm. and they put a cap a cap that is now worldwide mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that they are putting limitations on the number of people who come here every year mm -hmm. uh, based on world population as mm -hmm. opposed to mm -hmm. the population or the mm -hmm. request for particular countries. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they also, would you say that they also take into consideration the political or the uh, uh, governmental uh, qualifications of the countries from which they come yes, from? Yes, I mean, I mean we've got some countries, countries that uh, have what what's known in the international community as most favored nation status yeah, and, mm -hmm. and these are countries that we have had you know had had positive working relationships mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. some of them may have even been part of the original NATO mm -hmm. and may have even been part of um, of uh, uh, some of the uh, allied forces mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we had existing during World War two mm -hmm. and those countries have to some degree received some what uh, of uh, some level of favoritism, Good. at mm -hmm. least deference, mm -hmm. uh, while there have been other countries mm -hmm. that have been on what you might call, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the, the non-favorable nation right. kind of list. Non-favorable <laughs> nation kind of list. And mm -hmm. so uh, and they've had to gradually kind of work mm -hmm. their credibility up. And mm -hmm. so that if you were to look at the um, INS mm -hmm. um, uh, immigration uh, visas that were issued um, during the 1960s, 70s, mm -hmm. and 80s, and you, and you looked at it uh, categorized by countries, you would see that European mm -hmm. countries were issued more visas mm -hmm. than maybe some of the uh, countries mm -hmm. that are underdeveloped uh, across mm -hmm. the globe. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, <coughs> that would be quite an interesting study uh, in itself, that is to uh, take these policies and to look at those policies uh, in the 1960s and then use the 1990s as a cutoff, 9-11 uh, as a cutoff, and then to sort of make some kind of comparison. I think that that, that makes a lot of sense, you see. Uh, well, and, you would, and I, one of the things I think that mm -hmm. such a story, study would tell us is one of the concerns about immigration policy, especially under the Patriot Act, mm -hmm. is this thing we call profiling. Mm -hmm. And see if, there, if, 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 if profiling is having an impact upon mm -hmm. equal access to, mm -hmm. to immigration, mm -hmm. to, the, to the doors of the United States. No, and no one mm -hmm. has, immigration, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, is, is, not, is not a right. Mm -hmm. The United States government clearly has the authority to reject someone's mm -hmm. application based on mm -hmm. a myriad of factors. And, uh, but one of, the clear, one of the clear factors relates to mm -hmm. national security. Mm -hmm. Does this person present or pose a mm -hmm. threat to the United States. Much and more so now since 9-11 than, right. than perhaps ever before. Ever ever before. before. And, uh. you had, and you even had abuses, for example, mm. with people who were immigrants that would marry U.S. citizens. Mm -hmm. Prior to 9-11, it wasn't that big of an issue, mm -hmm. but now it is, and, and they look mm -hmm. very closely at marriages that were based on fraud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was not a situation mm -hmm. that they looked at closely at prior mm -hmm. to 9-11. Now, all of these all of this activity now has been r moved into the Homeland Security uh, area. Is that what we're saying? Yes, we're saying the Office of Homeland Security mm -hmm. has, has basically become an umbrella agency mm -hmm. for uh, what may consider to be the federal, mm -hmm. federal law enforcement mm -hmm. arm. Um, you've got, again, you've got the Customs Office, you've mm -hmm. got INS, you've even got a new agency that, that regulates and provides mm -hmm. uh, for um, intelligence and law enforcement mm -hmm. in terms of transportation. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new component at the federal level that comes under the Office of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. And one of, the, one of the criticisms, or at least concerns, that the 9-11 Commission raised mm -hmm. was that you had all of these different law enforcement mm -hmm. agencies that were not sharing information. Mm -hmm. One of the objectives of having Homeland Security be an umbrella agency is hopefully that what? you'll see a greater mm -hmm. exchange of information mm -hmm. that can be used from the different departments and hopefully do a better job of regulating mm -hmm. um, immigration laws. Do you think that that will work out? I think that's, I mean, mm -hmm. you always have turf battles mm -hmm. uh, and you see that in law enforcement, you mm -hmm. see it in other, other, other professions, mm -hmm. but I think that's a little much to hope for mm -hmm. overnight. I think gradually we may see that. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. McDonald, let me thank you for bringing us that excellent okay. information about our immigration policies uh, since, uh, <clears throat> well, since the 1960s in a real sense. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week 
for another informative, informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.